Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install Preware on your HP touchpad. For those of you that don't know, Preware is like Cydia for the touchpad, and it allows you to install third-party applications and modifications. So to start out, you will have to enable developer mode on your HP touchpad. To do that, all you have to do is go to the Just Type section, and you're going to type in this code. It's up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, be a start. Don't worry about having to pause this video and type it in, because I will have a link that is down below in the more info to an article on my website that will have all of the written instructions as well as download links. So once you've typed that in, all you have to do is search for it, and then you will need to launch the Developer Mode Enabler. So just launch that, and once you have launched that, you will need to enable developer mode right there. You can also set or change your password. By default, you don't have a password, uh, so you can deal with that if you want to, but all we're really concerned about is turning it on. Now once it is turned on, you can come over to your computer, and you will need to download WebOS Quick Install. Now if you're on OS X Line, you will also need to download Palm WebOS SDK and that is right there because it needs to install the Novacom drivers. Now WebOS Quick Install actually tries to install the Novacom drivers but if you're on OS X Line it can't find them so you have to use the Palm WebOS SDK. So that's the problem that most of you are going to run into if you're on a Mac on OS X Line and also some Windows users will run into that error as well. So you will have to download Palm WebOS SDK if that's the case. So I'm just going to continue through the installation here and show you guys that it does install the Novacom driver. So I'm going to zoom in here and you can uncheck the other two that are optional but you will need these two checked and the Novacom driver is what's needed for this to function properly so once you have that all you have to do is open up the WebOS quick install once your device is connected and it uses Java so just make sure that your Java is up to date and it's the latest version it will work on Java 1.6 so if you're not sure you can always go to the website and you can download the latest version of Java and try and install it so simply open it up and then it will come to this screen. Now most people get stuck here and they don't know what to do. Uh, what you're going to do is just hit that globe button right there that's down below the plus and minus and then it will download a few things and it will enter the uh, application catalog where you can install a few different things but all we're really interested in is Preware because again that's basically like Cydia for your HP touchpad. So just search for Preware and once you have found it, simply hit install and it will start installing on your HP touchpad. Now it doesn't take long to do at all. As you can see my touchpads here, it's just basically sitting there, nothing's happening on it. Uh, but it finished installing it from the WebOS quick install catalog. So uh, it doesn't take long. If it's taking a long time, it's maybe because you're in USB mode. You just need to be at your standard screen. It doesn't really matter where you are. It will install it no matter what you're doing unless you're in the USB drive mode. But once you have that installed, simply open up your applications, go to downloads, and then it's right there, Preware. And all you have to do is open it up. It's a penguin inside of a box, kind of like Linux. So just open it and it will come to this screen and it will just tell you that uh, it has to download a few things and it also gives you all of the changes for different versions and then once you've read it you can hit OK I've read this let's continue and then it will download a couple things This shouldn't take too long it just depends on your internet speed it doesn't take long for me at all but uh, once you have it downloaded then you can go ahead and install things from available packages and you get a bunch of different categories here and when you go to these categories you will get other categories so let's just say we're gonna go to books and then we will go to a simple big book and then here you get all of the information on it and you can also view pictures for it and then you can go back once you're done and you can hit install and it will install it. I'll just install this for the sake of the tutorial now keep in mind this doesn't just install applications, it also installs modifications and you can actually download something that will enable you to overclock your CPU on your touchpad and that basically just means push it beyond its capabilities. So if you do download something like that, keep in mind that I'm not liable or responsible for anything that you download that could potentially uh, mess up your HP touchpad. 
But again, we did download the simple big book, and as you can see, it's right there. I'm just going to download something else for the sake of this tutorial, just to show you guys that it does download. So we're going to wait for it to refresh here, and available packages again, and this time we are going to go to patch. Actually, we'll go to application so I can show you guys that it does install uh, whatever I find to do. So, we'll just do NBA scores. So we're going to hit install. And there we go, it says application installed. And now we can exit out. I'll go to my applications here, and as you can see, it's MBA scores. And I'll just open it up to show you that it obviously does work. Now this isn't touchpad enabled, but still you get the point. You can install other things, and especially modifications that are really cool. And again, uh, if you want to overclock it, you can do that. And I know that can be helpful, but again, I won't be held responsible for anything you do that does mess up your HP touchpad. So I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it helped you out. Please remember to rate it up if you liked it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and hit that subscribe button to be updated more often. Until next time, this is ICU, signing out.